So over the past few weeks, I've been talking to you guys about how I build my camera out, as well as how I use it for client shoots and various things like that. And one of the big comments that I kept getting was, get an easy rig. Why aren't you using an easy rig? You should be using an easy rig. And I was like, it cannot be that good. So I got one. And holy <laughs> What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the piece of gear that kinda changed my life as a filmmaker. It made my camera way much more enjoyable to use. And I know I say that a lot, but this is without a doubt the best piece of gear that I have ever bought in my filmmaking career. It's my favorite to use. It trumps any cameras, it trumps any lenses. It is a support piece of gear. And that is the Easy Rig Mini Max. So for those of you who do not know, an easy rig is pretty much something that transfers the weight of your camera from your hands and your shoulders to your waist. And man, it makes my 13 pound black magic setup just float. And if by the end of this video, you end up getting one, then you'll float too. <laughs> so a couple weeks ago, I talked about the shoulder rig. It was a great budget solution for those who don't want to spend the 1350 bucks or something like that, that the easy rig costs. The shoulder rig is a great conversion kit for your camera. Just 200 bucks takes it from being a pain to hold handheld and puts it right over the shoulder. Now this thing, if you have the budget and if you want to really step up your ease of use for your camera, the easy rig is the way to go. I ended up giving this camera to my assistant who has never really operated a cinema camera before and he was able to get some spectacular shots with ease. Somebody who's never really played with a camera was able to do great things just because of the easy rig. He talked to me and he was like, bro, this is a game changer because I can just sit here and pan and tilt and get the shots that I want without having to worry about, is my footage too shaky? Can I even hold and stabilize this camera? So if it can take a beginner, somebody who's never really used the camera before and make them into a decent filmmaker, I'm sure that it can take somebody who practice and study just like you and take you beyond the next level because this thing is the best running gun companion in my opinion from this point out almost all of my shoots will be shot with this thing every shoot that I've done since I bought this thing a couple of weeks ago has been shot with the easy rig and of course it is a noticeable piece of gear so the moment I brought it out the clients were like wow You've really stepped up your equipment game, haven't you? <laughs> and yes, I have. Yes, I do look more professional, but this thing makes my life so much easier. It is saving your back. And that was like the big comment I got. They were like, bro, don't strain your back out. Just go ahead and save yourself some time and get an easy rig. And I was like, it is, it cannot be that important because I'm a big firm believer of making use of what I have. And I was like, I can get this all done with the gear that I have. You can, you can get it all done with the gear you have. I don't wanna be the person who sits here and sells you and says, you need this piece of gear and you can't live without it. But if you can get it, <laughs> if you can get it, yeah, it's, it's worked out. The thing is, I knew about Easy Rigs and I knew how they worked. I'm a big fan of Potato Jed. He talks about just different gimbals and different vests and suits and things that make your life easier. But I never took the time to really look into them. And so what I decided to do is I took you guys a couple of comments and I was like, all right, great. I'll just go ahead and buy it and see what all the fuss is about. I have a bad habit, side note. I have a bad habit of not watching reviews on gear I buy just so I can formulate my own opinion on it. And that's kind of what I did with this thing. The only review I actually watched was in German, I think, and it just showed how the how the latch mechanism worked. And some people may be like, that's silly. How do you know what you're getting? You don't know what you're getting into, but it keeps my mind fresh. And when I got that thing in, I automatically knew this is going to help. This is going to be something that makes my life as a freelancer so much more enjoyable. And with all that said, I wanna go outside and kind of walk you through how easy this thing is to use and show you what the process is like. So let's step outside. All right, so I'm out here with the Easy Rig on and the full black magic setup. And as you can see, this thing just floats. It's probably not good practice to not hold it like this, but this makes it so much easier to capture footage. As you can see, this 
takes all of the weight of this setup and puts it right here at your waistline. So if I'm filming, I have the flexibility to just be right here in my monitor, be present, and not worry about all of those unnatural shakes. Or if I wanna get lower, so it makes filming a dream, if we're being really honest. I don't wanna overhype this thing, but so far it's been one of the best purchases I've ever bought. So yeah, things I've noticed while using it is you have to make sure this thing is strapped on tight and proper to get the full advantages of it. Earlier I was wearing it like really lazily and I hadn't tightened all the straps and this was hitting me in the head and I couldn't figure out why, but make sure everything is tight and adjusted. And as you said, it'll make you stand up straight, but it supports this whole thing. It works a lot better when you have a camera that has a battery pack on it as well, because it makes this really, really balanced. If I didn't have this battery pack on it, it would lean really front heavily, which is fine, but you don't want to have that present when you're shooting. So we're going to kick it back to the desk and, you know, talk a little bit more about this thing. All right, as you can see, Easy Rig Life is pretty easy if we're being honest. It snaps right on, it creates this floating movement with your camera, and if you're capturing footage with it, you can just do quick up and down, left and right pans. It's great for subject tracking. It's less great if you're walking because you still have to stabilize your camera as if you would because you get this up and down movement if you're walking. But as far as it goes, getting that handheld track, looking at something or even interview footage. If you wanna do a walk and talk interview or an interview where somebody's standing and it feels very free floating, this is the device for you. Now, instead of been using this thing for a couple of weeks and I have been very busy shooting with it, testing it out. So I just wanna show you guys some footage that I've gotten the chance to capture with the Easy Rig. That way you can kind of see how it works, the movement it creates. And one of my favorite things to do with it is you can go from squatting down to standing up and it, it just doesn't even affect the footage. And it's so, so crazy to use. So check this out. And I'm begging, but I'm ready to give it to you. And if you've been begging for too long, now just give it to him. Make an exchange, God, I don't want it anymore. Send it one more time, say please. Why aren't you confused? Because now I know what to do. But what? But I'm on my knees. Still. Still on my knees. What are you doing on your knees this time? I'm thanking now. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you now. Jesus, I thank you now. Jesus, I thank you now. Cause I need you. Do you still need him, Tyson? Sing, I adore you. God, I adore you. I adore you. God, I adore you. Yeah. Listen. Make that exchange. But yeah, I think this piece of gear kinda speaks for itself. It's really helped increase the ease of use with my camera. This isn't a piece of gear that you necessarily need up front, but this is kind of like that in-game piece of gear. Something you want to make the operation of your equipment much more easier. It's a quality of life piece of gear. You know, something that is not necessary, but just makes the overall fundamentals of the stuff that you do much more simplistic, AKA capturing footage. But yeah, my only big complaint with this gear is, I wish I had gotten it sooner. But with that all being said, that's all I have for you today, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, consider subscribing because I'm gonna be bringing you more content just like this every week. So you guys stay safe, you're loved, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.